Hello and welcome to week eight of Charger Comment. My name is Jenna Hildenbrink and I'm once again joined by head coach Keith Adderbein. Coach, welcome. Good morning, Jenna. All right, so the team had such a big win last week on Saturday. So put into words what made it so special and how your team was able to pull it out. Well, I just kept playing against a really good football team. You know, you, you, you get into an intense football game and, you know, momentum goes one way and then you've got to really suck it up to be able to capture it back to your side made a lot of big plays, and, and I think maybe what made it especially uh, important for us was the number of guys that had to step up because of mm -hmm. guys getting banged up and different injuries that, you know, as you get to this point in the season, uh, certain guys have to step up or different guys have to step up, and that kind of goes back to our uh, build a bigger tank theme is yeah. is one of those things is more guys being ready to play and that that maybe makes uh, winning on Saturday uh, that much more special. All right, going into that a little bit, Sam Landry comp completed four touchdown passes to four different receivers last week, and they also had several different running backs having regular carries. So, how has that platoon approach really helped in those skill positions? Well, it keeps you fresh. I think yeah. more than anything, they can't zero in on one particular guy. I mean, when you had a Joe Glendening or you had a an Andre Holmes or Mike Blanchard or AJ Keg or you yeah. know, you go down the list yeah. of of those special players. When you have a lot of guys that are that are comparably skilled, they can't really zero in on one guy and, and quote unquote take a guy away. So what Sam's job is find the open guy and throw it to him, and uh, we've been doing a nice job of, of mixing that up. As far as the receivers and running backs go, who are you really happy that just stepped up today or on Saturday? Well, I think Joe Schreibernack had really stepped up, had, yeah. a, had an outstanding game, made some really key catches. Uh, we did a nice job con converting several third downs, especially mm -hmm. in the second half, and, and Joe was a big part of that. All right, you had your fifth string running back in, is that correct? <laughs> so tell me a little bit about that, and were you, were you pleased with his performance? Well, we were, and we recruited Jack as a tailback, and then, you know, just based on what's best for our football team, uh, he moved to H back in the spring, over the winter and spring. Uh, he's a big, strong kid. Um, as injuries start to occur, um, you know, you got Jack back over, so he practiced with us at tailback all week, and um, you know he stepped up, did a nice job. He had the one carry and and had 10 yards after first contact, and did a nice job in a couple pass protection things. So uh, going into this week, he's really got to step up because with the injuries uh, mm -hmm. to everybody else at the position, um, he's he's got an opportunity to really be a big factor in Saturday's game. You know, that's really what you like to see is uh, these these players stepping up. So let's look ahead to next week for a little bit. Uh, we got Saginaw Valley State University. Um, and this game was actually for the first place in the GLIAC uh, North Division. So what is it going to take for your team to keep this winning streak going? We're going to do the same thing we do every <laughs> week. You know, it's w you don't change the formula. Yeah. Um, I think as you win big games, each next game gets bigger. Mm -hmm. um, but the process remains the same, and in order to uh, be successful, we've got to put in the time mentally, physically, and emotionally to get ready to play Saginaw. Very good football team, extremely well balanced on the offensive side, uh, very athletic football team, mm -hmm. sound in the kicking game. So, you know, j just change the name of yeah. the opponent. <laughs> But the way we go about it remains the same every week. Well, I bet you if we play the same way we did against Ferris, we will get another win against Saginaw. So well, we hope so. We really hope so. All right, thank you, Coach, and thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon.